Have you ever wondered how Bluetooth works? It's like a silent conductor orchestrating a symphony of devices around us. The term Bluetooth is derived from a 10th century Danish king, Harold Bluetooth, known for unifying warring factions, much like Bluetooth technology unites devices. The unique symbol is a combination of the king's initials in ancient runes. Bluetooth is a wireless technology designed for short-range communication between devices. It's become an integral part of our lives, almost like an invisible thread connecting the digital world. From smartphones to speakers, headphones to heart rate monitors, Bluetooth is the magic that makes them all play nicely together. No strings attached. This technology has revolutionized our ability to connect devices wirelessly, enabling us to stream music, transfer files, and even control smart home devices, all without the need for a physical connection. So, Bluetooth is everywhere, but how does it actually allow your devices to communicate? Imagine sending a letter, but instead of a postman, you've got a super speedy carrier pigeon. That's essentially what Bluetooth does, only instead of pigeons, we're talking about invisible waves of energy. It's a fascinating process, so let's break it down. Bluetooth is all about communication between devices. Think of two friends who want to talk, but they're in a crowded room. They need to find a quiet corner where they can chat without interruption. That's what Bluetooth does when you pair two devices. It creates a private link between them on a unique frequency band, specifically the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. But what about interference? After all, there are lots of other devices out there using the same frequency. Well, Bluetooth has a clever solution for that. Just as our two friends might move around the room to avoid noisy groups, Bluetooth uses a technique called frequency hopping. It rapidly switches between 79 different channels within its frequency band 20 times per second. This way, even if there's some interference on one channel, it's only a momentary glitch. Now let's talk about the conversation itself. When two Bluetooth devices are talking, they're not just chatting willy-nilly, they're following a set of rules or protocols. These protocols ensure that the data being transferred arrives correctly and in order. It's a bit like our friends using a shared language and taking turns to speak. Without these protocols, our Bluetooth conversation would be a jumbled mess. Finally, it's worth noting that Bluetooth isn't just about one-on-one -on -one chats. It can connect up to eight devices at once, creating a tiny network known as a picone. This allows multiple devices to communicate simultaneously, each hopping around on their own unique sequence of frequencies. So, there you have it. That's how your Bluetooth devices chat with each other, hopping frequencies and sending data back and forth, just like that carrier pigeon. So, we've ventured into the realm of Bluetooth and unearthed its workings. To encapsulate, Bluetooth operates on a frequency band of 2.4 GHz, which is a globally available unlicensed industrial, scientific, and medical radio band. This helps to ensure universal compatibility and avoid interference. A significant step in the process is pairing. This is when two Bluetooth devices establish a connection by sharing a unique code, creating a secure pathway for data transfer. Once paired, these devices can remember each other, making future connections hassle-free. Data transmission occurs through packets, breaking down the information into manageable pieces. This makes the process efficient and reduces the risk of data loss. Lastly, Bluetooth employs a technique called frequency hopping. This means it rapidly switches among 79 channels within its band to maintain a stable connection and avoid interference. And there you have it. The mystery of Bluetooth unraveled. Never again wonder how your phone sends that favorite song to your wireless speaker.